What's up, motherfucker? Six foot Ben. I'll tell you a story. All right, so back about shit, probably like fifteen years ago or something. Me and my girl were we were at like our worst point with uh, drinking and drugs and shit. Like it was that point, like you know, we went through our twenties and shit. And we had fun, but you get to about thirty and you hit that wall, like where this shit isn't working anymore. So you're gonna have to either make a change or fucking end up dead or in jail. So this is right before that happens. <laughs> um, so we uh, ha- are moving out of out of Naples, Florida, out of Southwest Florida. We're moving up to Tallahassee because uh, we're pretty much fucked in our town, you know, and we're trying to just get somewhere else. And uh, she gets a job up in Tallahassee, so we decided to go up there because she's an accountant. So she finds this job up there. We're gonna so we're gonna pack up the the U-Haul and we're gonna move up there. So. Um, we head up there, um, this other guy comes with us that he's also going to Tallahassee and, uh, he was going to help us move for a ride. So he comes with us and, uh, <laughs> so we start, we head up there and it's like an eight hour drive or something and we're partying all the way up there, you know, I'm drinking whiskey and beers and we're smoking weed and doing pills and snort coke, just all kinds of bad shit. So by the time we get to Tallahassee, it's like one in the morning and we're at this new apartment complex. Like no one knows us yet. So they don't even realize how lucky they are <laughs> to have us move in because we're, we were like, you know, like an every night fucking uh, domestic disturbance, you know, <laughs> we were fucking, we weren't great, we were, we were fucked up, because my girl, she was a very toxic drunk, like, when she would drink, she'd just go nuts, so it always, like, any time, every time she drank, it would get bad. And we'd be end up screaming at each other, so so we get this town and uh, this apartment complex, and right even before we can even start moving in, we're fucked up. So we just immediately start fighting me and her, and we're fighting, and I I was like fuck you, I'm leaving. And that was my always my go to move. I'd be like I'm leaving, and I'd storm off, and I'd go sleep in the woods for a night, you know. But this is Tallahassee. I don't know. I don't know anything about Tallahassee. I don't know the landscape. I don't know where I am. Nothing. I shouldn't be running out in the woods or <laughs> I shouldn't be doing that. And But that's what I'm going to do. And she'd always give chase. So I'm drunk. I'm like, leaving. I start running. She's chasing behind me. I see these woods in front of me. There's like, a, I can see this path going into the woods. So I run into these woods and she gives up. She stops chasing me. Once I go in the woods, she's scared of woods. Well, running into those woods is like the last thing I remember until I just, I come to and I'm walking down this street in this apartment complex and I'm soaking wet, my shirt's wet, my ears bleeding, and I have no pants on. I have no underwear, no pants on. My shorts are gone. And <laughs> they're just gone. And I'm just walking down the street like in a daze. Like I just got abducted by fucking aliens. Don't know what the fuck happened to me. I'm yelling. The dude that came out there with us, he was kind of sober, you know. He's helping us move in and shit. He's dealing with my nuts girlfriend, probably. Sees me walking down the street, bleeding, half naked. He comes down. He brings me in the house. My next memory, I'm standing in front of the bathroom mirror, and I'm looking, and my ear is ripped open because I had an earring in there, and it's gone. And my side hurts really bad right here, and it's got some, like, uh like bruising on it you know looks like i got hit really hard in the in the ribs and they're kind of hurting and um and um everyone's like what the hell happened i don't know and i didn't i black out so i pass out next morning i get up i'm sore as fuck i can't move i can't get out of 
bad. My ribs are bruised or fractured, something. They're really bad. I can't breathe. It's like really bad. And I, I still have no idea what happened to me. And uh, so like, it was like five days later when I finally felt okay enough. Like I was still really hurt, but I felt okay enough to get up out of bed <laughs> and stagger down the street and try to go find the last place I remember this trail into the woods so I get down to this trail into the woods and I, I walk I walk in and I, I walk in and this I realize this trail goes probably about three feet before it's just this steep like 80 degree angle trees steep just kind of like hill with just rocks and trees and then at the bottom of it like like 50, 50 feet down or so is a, a pretty fast moving creek, right? And when I'm looking down this thing, I can see hanging on a branch down there, my pants <laughs> are hanging down there. And um, so I'm like, you know, putting two to two together. And it's like, okay, so I basically ran off a cliff, ran into a tree, which probably knocked me unconscious. Then I hit the next tree down, which snagged my pants and ripped those off of me. My wallet and my cell phone were still in my pants, good as new. And then I must have landed in the river. Also, I probably hit the tree and ripped my earring out. But uh, yeah, I must have landed in that river. And by the grace of whatever, I fucking must have got woken up by the cold water or something. I don't know how I climbed up this thing i have no recollection of ever climbing up a hill my first memory is just walking staggering down the street so i don't know if maybe like guardian angels elves fucking something something helped me up anyway (laughs) that's my story good night